Hello crafty friends, today I'm sharing my contribution for the A to Z Christmas collaboration hosted by Rach and Bella Crafts and Journals in Time. I was given the letter G and there are lots of yummy options. I'm going to go with gnome, gingerbread, gold, glitter and gift tag. I'm creating a beginner friendly double page pocket for a junk journal and I call it jam packed pocket and you'll soon see why. Please do go and take a look at all the other ladies who are contributing to this collaboration. There are so many wonderful ideas for things for you to make. There will be a link to the link tree in the description box below. I will also leave the link for this kit that we are using in the collaboration. Today I'm going to be making the pocket in my all sorts junk journal. It's not specifically a Christmas journal. I've just made a blank journal that I'm going to be using in a series where I show you how to make beautiful things for your junk journals. So to start off with, we're going to do the base of the pocket. I'm just using a piece of color coordinated cardstock. You can use anything you have for this. You could even use just a piece of coffee stained paper. We're just going to cut our cardstock down to size. It's got to be the width of the entire book. So from left to right, you're measuring because it's a double page pocket. And then the height, mine is 7.5 centimeters, but it can be as tall as you want it, depending on the size of your journal. I'm also going to add a piece of vellum as a front pocket that's going to be slightly shorter. And then I'm going to run it underneath the sewing machine on each side and the bottom. This will attach the vellum to the cardstock. If you don't have a sewing machine, you can just use glue or you can just leave the vellum off. When sewing vellum with a sewing machine, always have a larger piece of vellum than what you need. It's better for it to overhang over the paper or cardstock you're using and then you can trim it later. Trying to line it up and not let it slip under the foot of the sewing machine is quite tricky. I'm now going to attach the pocket with some clear craft glue. I'm also going to put some glue down the middle of the spine of the book because I want the center of the pocket to be stuck down. Now I'm not applying the glue on the actual pocket because I'm not quite sure where the center is or how it's going to bend. So I apply the glue to the book and then I apply my pocket on top and then just bend it gently in the center to make the crease. If you decorate your pages before you put the signatures together and attach them to the spine, you can always do some machine stitching to attach the pocket to the page instead of using glue. I'm going to fussy cut this beautiful little gnome that's in sort of like a wooden window frame. I love the shape of this. It's really unusual and I'm going to use it as a tag. So once I've cut it out, because the paper I've used to print on is just a normal ATGSM copy paper, it's quite flimsy. So I'm going to attach it onto a piece of cardstock to make it more sturdy. I tend to use cardstock that is matching and coordinating colors. I just apply some glue stick onto the printable and then I press it onto my cardstock and then trim all the way around. I'm going to continue to fussy cut out other elements of the printable that I'm going to use in my project. For this piece of printable, I'm just going to cut it out, fold it in half and stick it together. And it's going to be a small journaling card to put into my pocket. For my little gingerbread man, I'm going to use him just on his own. So I'm going to also add him with some card dock as a backing just to make him more sturdy. Once you have most of your elements ready, we can start filling the pockets. There's no right way or wrong way of doing this. And if you're anything like me, you'll probably move the tags around multiple times before you're happy with how they are sitting in the pockets. I normally start with the main ones that I've got maybe the focal point or the most design, and then I'll put those to the front. I also have those small little uh, Christmas recipe cards that are really, really cute. So I've added a red one and a green one in the back. And then I also have some ready-made tags that I just have in my stash that coordinate with the color that I'm also going to slip into the pockets. There are some metallic ones, I have a glitter one, and I just move them around to make the colors sort of not be all the reds on one side or all the greens on the other, just trying to balance the colors and the designs and to get a good feel. 
I also have a video coming up in the next few days of making some other tags using some embossing. This is one of them. It's actually like a shaker box type of tag. And although that video isn't up yet, I really think this tag suits this pocket. So I'm going to pop it into this project. But do watch out for the video on how to make that coming shortly. Now just keep pushing them in. Um, I believe the more the merrier. This is why I call it the jam pack pocket. Normally I do this kind of design in the center fold, sort of in the center of my signature and I call it jam packed center fold. That is what I normally like to do and normally don't put really many other tags in the rest of the journal, just put them all in the center. I just like that look. Up to you but I believe put in as many tags as it can possibly fit. I also have some little ready-made $1 tickets in red that I think suited and I have a green 25 cent that I'll bring in now too. And then these are just die cuts, ready-made die cuts that I found in a craft store a while ago. These poinsettias I think are beautiful and I'm also going to decorate the po pockets a little bit. I do like to add some kind of design there and I'll just leave them plain. I'm going to keep it quite simple for this one. I'm going to stick the poinsettia on the right hand side. I'm going to leave some of the petals actually hanging off the page. I do like bits sticking out of my journal. That's just a personal preference. If you like it more neat and tidy, you can push it more in. So it's all just within the cover of the book. And then on the left, I'm putting another ticket and a couple of the little printables from the kit, a little box for a Christmas cake and a little blue present. And because I love glamour and glitz and bling and g is for gold i'm going to add a few little gold sequins on the border of my pocket just one or two just to give a little bit more pizzazz now there's a lot of blank space in the background because the tags are sort of quite short so i'm just going to fill up some of that space i've just got some cardstock just from a scrapbooking um, pad that i had that i've just cut into pieces folded in half and stitched all the way around with my sewing machine and then just fill those little gaps with those. I've made that color coordinated. There's a little globes, there's a gingerbread and some presents. I think the color suited well and I think it just fills it up and puts it all cohesively together. And there is your jam packed pocket with the beautiful kit and all the beautiful colors of Christmas. I really hope you enjoyed this video. I really hope you're inspired to create your own jam-packed pocket. Don't forget to watch out all the other collaboration videos and follow along. There are some great tips and tricks and some beautiful projects coming out of this collaboration. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you again soon. Bye.